Welcome to episode 8 of me trying to play USA Monopoly in real life. So far I have been to Dallas, Orlando, LA, Seattle, Hawaii and now I am in New Orleans in Louisiana with Mitch. And now we're going to find somewhere to get the board out, roll the dice and see where we're going next. Is anywhere quiet here to get the board out? Jackson Square maybe. Jackson Square. This time of day that could be the spot. Are you ready for the lucky roll mate? Yes. Please don't send me like far. I don't want to send you to jail at least. No, dude. Oh, I want oh to send my you to god. The spa. No, jail it could actually be on the next one. Oh wow. Do not send me to jail, Mitch. I'd like you... to send you to the spa, but I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, no, you can't send me to the spa. Oh, but man. jail is literally next. Uh oh jail. That's not Please good. just send me somewhere close, right? Okay. We're in the park in Jackson Square and we're gonna find somewhere now. Right, should we do it here? Let's do it here. I know, they've even cut the grass for it's us. Perfect. There you go, you mate. The Do the honours. There's the famous board. I'm going to give this away at the end as well. If anybody wants to win the board, don't forget, get me on Instagram, at Simon J. Wills. Like this video, share it, and comment below. Right, let's go. There's the chance in the community chest. Feel free to give them a shuffle, mate. Come on, you Spurs. Oh. Spurs? They used to have accents. Mate, you cannot, they you can't confuse accent. me for a Spurs fan. Don't do that to me. That's all the Liverpool <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, it's all good, I'll let you off. Nice to meet you. There's the McDonald's fries, mate. Pop that on New Orleans. Right there. That's there we go. Right. So what are we looking at now? We can't go there because that's a one, mate. Do not send me to jail. Don't oh, do it. Man. Just don't do it. So we've got San Fran, Vegas, Chicago, DC. I don't know if we can get to Boston. Boston would be good, but there's no baseball right now. I know, it's finished. It's over. Mate, please don't send me far. Like DC's not too far, I don't mind that. Boston. Come on, Mitch, get me a good one. Five. Five. Go wait, on, let's move wait, it. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Las Vegas. Las, you son of a gun, I love going to Vegas. Mate, you're literally sending me to the other side of the country. So Vegas. just to double check, Las Vegas. Thank you so much for not sending me to jail. You're welcome. I did not want to do an no money challenge. Well, you in might New get Orleans. to jail if you go to Las Vegas. <laughs> we gotta be really careful about this, all right? Be, be careful. <laughs> They don't call it Sin City for nothing. So I'm literally, I've come from Hawaii to New Orleans and I'm going all the way back. You were on Hawaii to here? Yeah! I flew to LA and then LA to New Orleans and now I'm flying all the way back to the West Coast. Mitch, can you do me the pleasure of signing the board please mate? Sign New Orleans? Yep. Thank you for signing it mate. No problem buddy. What a pleasure. It's been so fun. good to it's see you again fun, mate. It's been fun buddy, it's been fun. Right, let's get this board away. What's your plans for tonight? Where are you heading? Not a clue, mate. Vegas. Thanks to you. I don't know how I'm getting there yet. I what know. time? But I'm going to check it out. Okay. I can't wait to see how we get to Vegas because uh, a lot of flights. A lot, a of, lot flights. of flights, mate. Honestly, absolute pleasure, mate. It was. Good so to good to see you. Good to Look see you. after yourself. And, mate, oh, no. keep the weight loss. Honestly, looking a million dollars, mate. Have a good one. See you later, mate. Look after yourself. Mitchell, what a guy. I tell you, they don't make many people like Mitchell. I am so happy I managed to catch up with him while I was here. Look at this guy just singing in the middle of the road. Welcome to New Orleans. Right, it's getting dark in New Orleans and I need to make a move and I need to work out a plan of how I'm gonna get to Las Vegas. I don't have a clue how I'm getting there, what time I'm getting there, and I don't even know where I'm staying tonight yet. I've not got a hotel. But before I do that, there is one more person I need to catch up with before I leave. His name is Mr. Ray Lott. Again, from my No Money series, New York to LA. Ray was based in Mississippi and he let me stay at his house and I met him and his girlfriend. And again, I've kept in touch but haven't seen him for five years. So I'm gonna go and catch up with him now. He just messaged to say he's finished work and he's gonna drive over to New Orleans and pick me up from the casino. So I'm just walking over to the casino now. As Soon as I meet Ray, I'll figure out a plan. This is the casino main entrance now. I'm looking for a white Ford. I see a white Ford on double hazards. How are you? Good, man. How about yourself? Mr. Ray Lott. What's going on, man? How are you? Are yeah, you good? Yeah, man. Mate, you're looking well. I appreciate that. Mate, you've grown. Uh, a little bit. I got the beard now. I'm not, <laughs> I don't look 19 anymore. I've gained a few is that, how, how, is that what you... 19? Wow, mate. We're both getting old. I know, man. How you been? Yeah, oh, mate. So good. Dude. So good to be back. Yeah, dude. Good to so see you. So good. I appreciate you making the effort yeah, coming down, mate. Not a problem. Welcome back to New Orleans. I know. Back, mate. You want to put that... Ah, oh, chuck it here, mate. It's all good. Mate, it feels surreal to be back. 
I can't believe it's been five years. Time has flown. Literally, I just caught up with Mitch and I'm yeah. saying the same thing. I'm like, Dude. where does time go? Amen, man. And this is why you've got to make the most of it, man. That's it. So tell me about life. What's going on? How's Dude, Haley? She's good. She's a teacher now. God bless her. Uh, she's Amazing. a teacher. Amazing. I work in the transportation industry now, which is awesome. That's something I didn't expect, but I love it, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah, mate. It's as great. long as you enjoy what you do, that's, that's the main thing. That's the best part of so it. So how long have you been with Haley now? Nine years. Nine years, May. almost nine years. That's it's, amazing. Is it, is it time to pop the question yet? Have you popped the question? Not yet. Not yet. Are you We're thinking about it? She's oh, probably yeah. going to watch the video though. She's probably. We don't want to give her any yeah, hints. Yeah, let's not give. Let's not yeah, give it's, any it's hints. <laughs> we'll edit this out. That's it. That's it. <laughs> mate, nine years. That's Dude. that's impressive, mate. Dude, yeah. Not many people stay together nine years today. High school sweethearts, man. Mate, that's we that's a sophomores. true love story, that Exa mate. Exactly. There's only one place where we can head, isn't there? That's it. Raisin canes. <laughs> Famous in the South! <laughs> <laughs> Mate, hey. I remember when you mentioned it, I've never heard of it, and you're like this cane sauce, and I'm thinking, what is this sauce? The sauce is boss. <laughs> the sauce is boss. So you landed on the Monopoly for the yeah. French Quarter? Did you have you been to the French Quarter? Yeah, yeah I went okay. to the French Quarter. Guess where I'm going next? I've Where's just rolled that? the dice. Where's that? Las Vegas. <laughs> Back to the West I know. Coast. I've come from Hawaii to you, and now I'm going back. Oh, you you came from Hawaii? Mate, Hawaii! Holy <laughs> oh, mate. Honestly, mate, I had a 12-hour flight yesterday. Oh, my god! I did Hawaii, LA, LA, New Orleans, yeah. and now I'm going to Vegas. I've Dang. not booked the flight. Mate, I don't even know where I'm staying tonight yet. Oh, I've got to dude. book a hotel, and I need to sort the flight to Vegas. Woo, boy. I've got my priorities right, though, mate. I'm not sorting any flight or hotel until I've had a Raisin Cane's. That's it. Gotta have the Raisin Cane's. <laughs> You're over a million subscribers now. I That's know. crazy. Mate, how many? I was just speaking to Mitch. How many subscribers did I have? 19,000. 19,000, yeah. When I was, I was last in New Orleans. That's crazy, man. Mate. And you haven't honestly, changed a bit. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man. The same genuine Simon Wilson. This is like the most genuine. I appreciate, I appreciate it, mate. Yeah, I will say you have some of the best subscribers because they still, to this day, they'll DM me. They'll be like, are you Ray from Mississippi? No yeah. way. Oh, that was dude. some journey, that though. Oh, 43 days it took me. Honestly, I don't know how I did it. That journey was insane. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. 43 days with no money. Mate, I'm actually buying the Raisin Canes. Are you sure? 100%. No, man, you don't have to. Mate, you're winding me up. Oh, That's the least I, I can do. That. Have you still got that safe full of guns? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, my God. Have you added any more to it? Quite a few. Quite a few. How many is in there now? About 15. 15 guns. Honestly, this man has got a safe full of hand pistols and shotguns and everything. Welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, just coming into Raising Cane's, baby. I love this place. Dude, it's so good. It's the best chicken dinners ever. Cheers, mate. Can I have two box combos, please? You want extra sauce? Yeah, extra cane sauce as well, please. Yeah, what's the name for the order? Uh, Simon. Simon? Simon. Oh, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, don't be stupid. Mate, you got everything when I was here last. Cheers, thanks very much. You gotta try a sip of this sweet Mate, tea. Mate, it's man. disgusting. I've tried it before. Oh, man, it's so sweet good. tea. So good. Okay, you gotta have the unsweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. I'm gonna stick to the coke. Look at this. A Heinz tomato ketchup tap. I need that at home. Oh mate, this is so good. Blast from the past this mate. Haley! Hey Simon! Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Yeah, good. You're missing out on raising canes here. I wish I could have come, but I have to get up so early for work in the morning. Ah, it's all good, no worries. Next time I'm down, we'll definitely have to catch up for sure. Well, have a good one. I'll hand you to Ray and I'll catch you soon. Okay. Look after yourself. See you later. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. This is the best toast ever. We need this in the UK. How can toast taste so good? How good was that, mate? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Should we head out? Dude, let's do it. Appreciate it, man. No, no worries, mate. <laughs> Jesus, at least they could do. Right, before we go anywhere, mate, I need to figure out how I'm getting to Vegas and where I'm staying tonight. Right, let's have a look at this. New Orleans. How do you say New Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I say New Orleans. Ah, but whatever, you know. <laughs> New Orleans to Las Vegas. Are you ready for this, mate? We've got two options. We've got one at 6 a.m. tomorrow, oh which is an God. early one, and we've got one at 9.30. Well, obviously. <laughs> oh, so, 9.30 p.m.? <laughs> yeah, 
9.30 p.m. So it's either 6 a.m. or 9.30 p.m. Well, we definitely ain't doing the 9.30 p.m. <laughs> so it looks like another early morning flight. Oh, Mate, oh, early oh. morning flights on this trip oh, have been a killer. Oh right, I'm booking this one. It takes off from New Orleans at 6 a.m. And it gets into Vegas at 7.47 a.m. That is very early, but I don't have it's an so option. Early. <laughs> I don't have an option. All done. That's booked. Right, now hotel. One thing I know is that I'm not staying in that building site I stayed in last night. Oh, mate, you should have heard it. Oh. I'm in bed, and the geezer is literally drilling the wall. I'm Nightmare. banging a hammer. Which one do you reckon here? Which one's decent? Man, I would have to say probably... What about that one? Yeah, that one looks good. The Renaissance, yeah, that's pretty nice. It's not nice. that dear either. It's sort of mid-range. Is that expensive for New Orleans? No. I might just stay there. Yeah, that looks that's right. a bargain, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to book this. Yeah. It's decent enough. Yeah, that's And a it's bargain. cheap, yeah? Booked. You're all set. Mate, I've got to get up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Well, no, I don't. I need to be at the airport for 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to have to get up at like 3.30. 3 oh, my gosh. Happy days. Flight booked, hotel booked, all sorted. Should we head to a hotel? Let's go. Mate, this hotel is literally five minutes drive. Oh, yeah. It's, not it's literally around the corner. I really appreciate the lift, mate. Hey, Thank man, you. not a problem, dude. Ah, that's yeah. it there, is it? That big, yep. tall one. That's it. Mr. Ray Lott. It's been an absolute pleasure. Mr. Simon Wilson, the legend. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, not Thanks a problem. so much, mate. So good Come seeing here. you, man. So good seeing you, brother. Look after yourself. It won't yourself. be five years next time, okay? No, <laughs> Honestly, mate, it's an absolute pleasure. Th absolutely. Thanks for finding the time when you finish work as well. Hey, absolutely. Yeah, you know, like, I'll just get my bag out the back, mate. I'll see you next time, my man. I'll see you soon, mate. Yes, sir. Look after yourself. You too, man. Tell Haley I'm asking after her Thank and you. keep those guns in that safe, yeah? We will, we will. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> see you later, mate. Look after yourself. Have a good one. Ray Lot, what a guy. Let's get checked into this hotel. Hey, how are you? You good? Just want to check in if that's okay. Alrighty, you can just insert it in here. Cheers, thanks. So what does cheers mean where you come from? Thank you. It, it's almost like cheers, do you know what okay. I mean? Like, thank you. Have you not heard cheers before? Like, we cheers with a drink. Ah, like with a that, drink. Yeah. Ah, yeah, cheers like is... Toast, like, cheers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, cheers is like thank you. I want to have you on the 17th floor. Amazing. Thank you so right. much for your help. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. I am not going to get much sleep tonight. I'm going to have to be up, what, three, half three? The airport's going to be 15 minutes. And then what's the flight to Vegas? Going all the way from New Orleans back over to the West Coast. It's going to be a long one. Right, what number am I? 1712 this way. Here we go, 1712. It's not bad this, I've got two double beds, I've got the bathroom there. Right, I'm going to get to sleep and have the little sleep I am going to get, so have a good one, I'll see you in the morning. We've got a big, big problem here. The time in New Orleans is 2.31 and the time in Hawaii is 9.31. I am still like on Hawaii time. I'm jet lagged. I've been lying here for hours and I just cannot sleep. And I'm supposed to be up in an hour to go to the airport. So even if I go to sleep now, at best I'm getting an hour's sleep. <laughs> this is going to be a long, long day. I haven't slept a wink, not one minute. And any second, that phone is going to ring with a wake up call. Good morning, this is your wake up call. Ah, uh, thanks so much for the call, really appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good one, mate. Thanks, you. bye, bye. Right, I'll get my stuff and we'll head to the airport. <laughs> the jet lag's done the dirty on me here. I'm just ordering an Uber to the airport. Terminal 1, 20 minutes, it's in. Right, let's check out. This is going to be a long day and it's going to be interesting to see when the tiredness does hit me. Hey, how are you? Can I check out if that's okay? I'm sorry, it's uh, closing out the day. Can I email your copy? Uh, yeah, that's fine, no problem at all. 1712. Oh. All right. So okay, so. cheers, thank you. The taxi is one minute away. Viva Las Vegas. Four hour flight from here back to the West Coast. Hey, how's it going? How are you this morning? I'm good, I'm good. Where are you from? From Jerusalem. Jordan? Yeah. A man? Yeah. Ah, nice. I've been to a man. How long have you been in New Orleans? Two years and a half. Two years and a half. You like it here? So so. So so. The work, yeah. The weather is nice. The work, yes. The weather, no. The only good thing about going to the airport at this time in the morning is very quiet. Very quiet, yeah. 
I would still rather go back to bed. I'm going to Terminal 1 for Spirit. Oh, the airport one terminal. Ah, the airport's only one terminal. Yeah, one. Ah, sorry, I thought it was lots yeah. of terminals. Yeah. Right, this is us now. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you have a good day. See you later. Here we go, the long trip back to the west coast. I tell you what, for four o'clock in the morning, this airport is actually quite busy. Look at the queues over there. I did not expect this. This airport's rammed. Right, this is security. Let's get through. Security done. What gate am I here? Where's Las Vegas? Las Vegas, 6 a.m. C12. Get me on this flight so I can get some sleep. Here we go, gate C12. Thank you, Sam. Yes, thank you. I cannot wait to sit down on this flight. I have never been so happy for a long flight so I can actually get some sleep. How are you, man? You good? Hello, hello. Welcome. Check this out. Look what I got. The big front seat. If there was ever a time I needed the big front seat, it's now. This airline is called Spirit and it's like a cheap budget one. But the seat doesn't even recline. Not one seat on this plane reclines. Not even the big front seat. I don't think I've ever seen that ever before. Anyway, next stop, Las Vegas. Thanks very much mate, hey, have bye. a good one. And we're in Las Vegas. You can tell we're in Vegas because as soon as we come off the plane, you've got slots already, literally the first five seconds off the plane. I slept most of that flight to be fair, but it was so uncomfortable and I feel like I've been hit by a big bus. It's mental, isn't it? You would literally think I'm in a casino, but I'm not, I'm still in the airport. I'm waking up a bit now. There is no time for sleeping in Las Vegas. Right, the plan for today, not a clue. We're gonna see where the day takes. Us, but now I need to get out of this airport. Right, here we go, taxis. Right, here's the taxi queue now, I think. Loads of taxis lining up. Is you, sir? Yeah, just me, mate. 17. Number 17, thank you, mate. How much you reckon a taxi is to the strip from here? Let's have a look. So where are you going, sir? Not a clue. Can you drop me off in the middle? City centre. Ah, the city centre, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is Las Vegas busy? It's too early yet. I know, it is very early. Before I start uh, arriving, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It is too early for me so as well. The weather is nice here, not too hot, not too cold, blue skies. Where are you from? Philippines. Philippines, Salamat. That is the only Filipino language I know. How long have you been in Las Vegas for? 24. 24 years? Yeah. You must like it here. It's like staying with your wife for 30 years, that means you like it. Salamat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the first time in Vegas? No, my third time in Vegas. Oh, okay. Once in 2017, once in 2018. 18 mm. and now is the third time. Just coming to the start of the strip now. There's the MGM. Ah, T-Mobile Arena there. Look at this. This is so good to be back. It has been so long. Yeah. You're gonna raise a $15 for a taxi ride coming from the airport to the strip and the strip to the airport. So all the prices are going up for the F1? For taxis, they give us a notice already. That's only for when we have the race. How much would this taxi trip cost normally? This is flat rate. That's a flat 26. Yeah. It's gonna be how much when the F1? 41? 26 plus 15, then you yeah. ride 41. It's gonna be expensive for the F1. Sky payment selected. 34, next. Enter your security pin. All sorted. Has that gone through? Okay. Lovely to meet you, thanks so much. Have a good one mate, see you later. I've just come out of the Bellagio behind me and honestly I cannot believe how much construction is happening in Vegas at the minute. Obviously it's because the F1 is on shortly. Normally you could see everything from this bridge. You've got Caesar's Palace in the back and again the same this way. You can sort of see the Eiffel Tower there. You can't see on the camera but even the other bridges that are long. It's like they've blanked all the glass so you can't even see off the bridges. Let's go down onto the pavement and see if we can see more. This is crazy looking at this. 
So there's the Bellagio in the back, and obviously the fountains are normally in front of this, but it looks like they've put the pit lane for the F1 in front of it. The most iconic thing in Vegas has to be the Bellagio fountain, and they've covered it up. Where you could normally walk in front of the fountain as well, you can't even walk on that side of the road now. At least you can see a bit more from the road. Here you've got the Eiffel Tower. You've got the big Paris hot air balloon there. You've got the Arc de Triomphe in the back. There is so much to see up and down Las Vegas Boulevard, I genuinely don't know where to start here. I would love to go in front of that fountain though, but as you can see, it's just all construction, you can't even get close to it. If you were coming to Vegas for the first time now, I think you'd be disappointed because you can't really see it for what it is, because you can't really move about it like you normally can. I appreciate that mate, lovely to meet you. Just passing the Cosmo, I might have a look how much a room there is tonight, that hotel's mega. You've got Planet Hollywood across the road, and then you've got Aria just in front of me. You can't even see off this bridge either, because as you can see, they're just boarding it all up. How come all this is like being boarded up, like the glass and stuff? Because they don't want people standing on the bridge watching the race. Is that why? Yeah. So you won't be able to see it from anywhere then? It, why is that? Is that because money for tickets? Yeah, or everybody to pay for tickets. Really? Yeah. So anywhere you can see from the race, they're just blocking up? Unless you've paid. It's a shame though, because Vegas at the minute, yeah. you can't really see anything, can you? Because of all the construction and stuff. True. Nice to meet you anyway, man. Have a good one. This guy is literally covering up every bit of glass. This is mental. So think about this, right? Anywhere around here that you can see the strip from is covered. So you can't even see anything. This is the only bridge that's not covered because there's nothing to see. You've just got the entrance to the area at the back. This is your view from this way. This has got to be the worst time ever to visit Las Vegas, unless you're an F1 fan, of course. I bet the F1 here is going to be ridiculous, the first F1 in Vegas ever, but I dread to think what the hotel prices are going to be. Look, more construction. This is what every walkway is like. I'm just making my way down the strip now. You can see in the back, MGM there, New York, New York there, Park MGM there. This is bringing back some serious memories. One of the No Money Challenge, and two of when I snuck into the McGregor Mayweather fight in 2017. This was literally the walk that I made to the T-Mobile Arena. The MGM was in the back where I stayed, and this is where I walked. I'm gonna go and check out the T-Mobile Arena, see if there's anything on tonight. There might be an event on. And there she is. Exactly how I remembered it. It's ironic there's UFC posters on there. It looks like there's something going on here because obviously there's all like the security stuff being put out. I'm just thinking, I hope they don't recognize me here. Yeah? I'm definitely not gonna sneak in here twice anyway. Yeah, the box office is there. Let's go and ask. Hi, how are you? Is there an event on here today? Uh, it's going to be the hockey. The ice hockey? What, what time does that start? 1.45. Ah, this afternoon? Yes. Oh, amazing. Can I get one ticket for it? Do you still have tickets? We have standing room only. They start at $69. Includes unlimited food and drinks and they're 126 And you don't get a seat with that? No. I was going to say, if you want to check online, go to axs.com. They sell tickets. a ticket? Yeah. So sure. there might be more options for tickets on there? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so right. much for your help. Thanks so much. Bye. Let me sit down here because there is no way I'm coming to Vegas and missing the opportunity to go to an ice hockey match. Boom, we are cooking on gas. I've managed to get a ticket and it wasn't too much more expensive than the box office either, so that's a winner. Also, even though I have got zero clue where I'm going next, I know I'm going to be staying here tonight, so I've booked the hotel. I've booked the Cosmo, so hopefully we can get a good night's sleep and catch up on yesterday because honestly, sat here, I am knackered. Right, things I need to do today. I need to check into this hotel, I need to go to the ice hockey match, and I need to complete Vegas on the Monopoly board, which the picture is of the Vegas sign, which is at the start of the strip, so I need to go there. So the order I'm going to do that in is, I'm going to check into the hotel now, I'm going to drop my bag off, and obviously the bits off the camera, which I'm not allowed to take into the ice hockey match, then I'm going to go to the ice hockey match, then I'm going to go to the Vegas sign and complete today. Obviously checking in hotels normally starts 3 p.m. and I'm a lot earlier than that but I'm gonna give it a go we'll see how we get on here we go is the entrance to the Cosmo now the cosmopolitan of Las Vegas your guess is as good as mine where the reception is in here though 
looks like Dubai Mall. Jesus, look at this place. How many floors is this? This casino floor is so cool. I wish I could film the tables, but if I did that, I don't think you'd see the end of this video. That's the high limit room. Wow, I'd like to know how much money is going down in there. Vegas is such a mental place. We're just coming into the lobby of the hotel now. For a lobby of a hotel, it's like a shopping center. Oh my God, look at the queue just to check in. There's got to be a quicker queue. All right, let's try in here. This line is definitely quicker than in there. I'll be right with you once Yeah, no worries. Hi, how are you, hey, sir? How are you? Yeah, good. Just want to check in if that's okay. Sure, you just need a photo ID. Tim, I do not envy your job, mate. <laughs> I have never <laughs> seen a queue for a hotel like it. It can be interesting sometimes, yeah. I can imagine. Print a small, I'm going to grab a magnifier here. <laughs> ah, no worries. Is it Mr. Simon James Wilson? That's the one. Yeah, your room's ready to go. You're on the 24th floor. And what type of room is it? It's a wraparound suite with a view of the fountains. A wraparound suite with a view of the fountains? Yes, that's right. Really nice room. Is that an upgraded room? That, that is, yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How do I actually get there? The elevator. <laughs> Literally right? just the elevator there, 24th, 24th floor. floor yes, and then go. Perfect. Thanks so much, Tim. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, after you. No, I've got it. It's all good. No worries. Right, I think this is it. Chelsea Tower. Which lift is up? Ah, this one. Ah, I'll jump in this one. There is so many lifts, I don't even know which one's opening. A cheeky upgrade with a suite, with a fountain view, he said, wasn't it? I cannot wait to see this. 2401. That way. I've been walking for five minutes. It literally looks like it is right at the end down there. I cannot wait to see this. Well, this is the end. 24, 2401. Are you ready for this? Okay, well, it's got a corridor to start. Turn the lights on. Oh my God. I've got a kitchen. I've got a bar. I've got a wine chiller with no wine. Table, living room. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. Let's have a look at this bedroom. Right, we've got one bed there. En suite. Oh my God. It's bigger than the bedroom. We've got like a double shower, a bath. One sink over there, just in case I don't want to use that one. And then what's in here? Wardrobe, robes. This is as Vegas as it gets, isn't it? Oh, let's have a look at this balcony. How do I get out? Oh my God. This is ridiculous, but at least I can actually show you Vegas now. So the balcony goes all the way that way. You come to the end and it goes all the way down there. It's like the wraparound corner suite. At least you can see what I was saying now. That's the Bellagio there. That's the Bellagio fountains. And you can see where they've built all the F1 stuff there. So you can't even see the fountains. It even looks like they've switched them off. This is mental. That is basically Vegas. That's the main strip there and it goes all the way up there. There's the MGM in the back. Can you imagine watching the F1 from up here? I would love to know how much this room's going for a night for the F1. This is absolutely ridiculous. An upgrade as well, can't complain. Oh my God, I could go to sleep now. If I spend any more time on this bed, I'll end up falling asleep and missing the hockey. Right, I'm leaving. I've left the mic, the tripod, everything in this room. So all I'm taking with me is the camera, which they still might not let in, to be honest, but I'm gonna take the risk and see if I can get it in. I'll still be walking down this corridor before the game starts. Look at the size of it. It feels so good to have that 20 kilograms off my back, I tell you. All right, let's get out of here. Cheers, thanks very much. I'm just coming up to the area of the stadium now. It's getting busy with getting close to the game. Jesus, what's going on here? They take their ice hockey very serious in this country. At least I understand ice hockey, because I haven't got a clue about American football. Right, let's try and get into this stadium. Wish me luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Boom, we're in and I managed to get the camera in. Happy days. The last time I was in this stadium was six years ago when I snuck into the McGregor fight. Where does time go? I remember walking around this stadium like I'm walking around now on that night and I was so nervous hiding in the toilet and here I am six years later. In fact, that bathroom there is where I hid in. Right, the game's gonna start, let's get in. I just need to get some snacks first. Cheers. 
I'm looking for section 13, row U. I'm going to be honest, I'm a Boston fan. I don't think I can sport Vegas here. I tell you what, some show this though. What do you reckon the score for the first period? One nothing. One nothing to Vegas. Let's see. We're a minute and a half in and Vegas are already 1-0 up. End of the first period, Vegas 2, Chicago 2. Here we go, second period. Period 2 done, still 2 all, going into the last period now. I tell you what, I am sat here and I am struggling to keep my eyes open. Blackhawks have gone 3-2 up. Vegas were winning 2-0 after 3 minutes and now it's 3-2. 12 minutes to go, big 12 minutes for Vegas. Vegas have just pulled it back, 3 all. Five minutes. Five minutes of overtime. Three on three, and then if they don't score, it's one on one shootout. It's ended 3 all. We're going to overtime. So you need to win this. Ah, Vegas going to win this in overtime. That's not great, Vegas lost 4-3 in overtime. I have never seen a stadium empty so quick in my life. Let's get out of here. Cheers man, have a good one. I find it mad how in American sports, the home fans and the away fans like mix together. Can you imagine if that happened with like a Liverpool United game in the UK? It just wouldn't happen in football. To be honest though, I do like that they mix. They shouldn't have to be trouble at a match, should they? Now this game's done, there is one thing left to do today, and that is get to the welcome to Las Vegas sign. I just need to get out with this crowd first. I'm kind of out of the crowds now, but there is no way I'm going to be able to get an Uber to this sign. As you can see, MGM in the back. We've got New York just over my shoulder, and I've got to walk to the sign. From the arena, it's saying it's a 41 minute walk, which was 1.8 miles, but it was too busy. There's too many people, I couldn't get a taxi. I tell you what, I hope I can get one back though. It's getting dark in Vegas now. I'm just passing the Luxor Hotel there, and then you've got the Mandalay Bay in the back as well. Honestly, this could be possibly the hardest day of this challenge so far just because I've had no sleep trying to power through Obviously going back and two more time difference. It's starting to catch up with me now I definitely need a good night's sleep tonight. That's for sure. This sign has got to be close now I've just checked my phone. I've still got another mile to go. I'm right outside the Mandalay Bay now There it is there. There is no way I am walking this back Come on, let's get to this sign. Where to after Vegas? Depending on how much I roll on the dice, this could potentially be the last destination. I can see something flashing in the distance. It has to be that. There it is there. I can see it, I just need to cross the road. I've crossed the road. This sign even has its own car park. Oh, you're winding me up. Look at this. There's a massive queue. Just have a picture with it. Look at the state of this queue. I am not waiting in this. Right, let's go and have a look at the sign. There you have it. That is the welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada sign. Honestly, there's not much going on here. You've got a motorway either side of it, and then you've just got a massive queue to take a picture with it like these people. Don't fancy waiting in the queue, mate? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> See yeah, exactly. And that's it, done. The Las Vegas sign behind me. This is a hack and a half. Where's the queue for the back of the sign? There isn't one. 
I'm gonna have a picture with the back of the sign. That's it, Las Vegas done. Time to go back to the hotel, get the Monopoly board out, and see where we're going next, if anywhere. Let's see. Have a good one, and I'll see you soon.